Hey, I'm Dr. Mark Rosenberg, and today we're going to talk about the six-minute stretch routine. Um, I often stretch for longer than that, 45 minutes, an hour, uh, when I have the time. But there's the catch. A lot of people don't have the time. Uh, so what I've been doing the past few weeks is trying to think about which major muscle groups would need to be stretched for the majority of work activities, not a specific sport, but a general little stretch activity that can get you loosened up for the day in a minimal amount of time with a minimal amount of effort. Uh, that being the case, I'll find that people will do this more frequently and uh, more days in a row. I wrote in my book that it takes 90 days to make a habit. If you do something for 30 days and the next day you don't, the following day is not day 31, it's day one. You got To make this a habit, you have to do it 90 days in a row. So if we make it a short period of time that we're going to stretch, and promise yourself, you're not promising me, you're promising yourself that you're going to do it for three months. It'll become such part of your routine. It'll increase your flexibility so much uh, that a lot of injuries will go away. A lot of your moves will be enhanced, okay? So without further ado, very simple. And again, I'm not catching all the, the exotic stretches you could possibly do uh, in all kinds of martial arts and yoga and dance. We're just going to do three basic stretches. And we're going to hold them for one minute each. So watch. So first... Again, the details of these stretches are on each of my uh, videos on my channel. So just if you look at the cover photo, if you will, you'll see me in this position. Go watch the details. First, reach up. Inhale. Exhale. Come down over your leg and grasp hold of what you can. Now, don't pulse. Just hold it and breathe one minute. Now, I'm not going to hold it. I don't have a timer here, but you get the idea. Hold it. Now, there's a couple of things you're doing here. You're stretching the hamstring. You're stretching your lower back muscles by keeping your shoulders back because you came down like this and not allowing them to curve forward. What you're doing, okay, is you're helping your posture and building up muscles behind your scapula. You're also mildly stretching the groin on the opposite side as well as stretching the iliotibial band. That's a lot of stretch for the, for the amount of time that you're going to hold. That's a lot of um, uh, benefits for the amount of time you're going to hold this stretch. So again, you hold and breathe one minute. When you come out of it, you straighten your arms, you bring them next to your ears, and then you inhale, come up, you're coming up from the torso, you build a little uh, core strength. Then from there, switch and do the other side. So you reach up, you rotate so your spine is over the center of your leg, inhale, exhale, come down, and grab hold. Again, you're stretching your hamstring, okay? You're stretching your back, you're stretching your groin a little bit and you're holding. And notice I'm not allowing my head to drop and my back to curve. I'm keeping my back straight. Yeah, there's no, but the, the goal is to get the, the, the tummy, the belly, to touch the leg, and then if you can do that, then you touch the chest. Then if you can do that, then you can touch the head. There's no benefit to just allowing your head to drop. You'll think you're stretching more, but you're not. The actual angle, if we measured it, uh, of, of lengthening of the hamstring is, is going to be the same if you're up like this or if you're down like this. But this certainly feels better to somebody who thinks that they want to do something, but trust me, uh, do it the right way. So hold it with your back straight. Then when you come out of it, Bring your arms next to your ears. Inhale up, exhale down. Next stretch, very simple. Bring your feet together for a groin stretch. If at first you can only sit like this. I've got lots of videos on groin stretches. Go look at the whole channel. I'm not going to go into the details here. And if you have troubles, there's different workarounds and massages. That's not the purpose of this video. This is stretch number two. Okay, so you stretch forward and you hold. Again, you want your back straight. You don't want your back to curve. You want your back straight as you come forward. And here you're stretching your back, you're stretching your groin, you're stretching your knees, you're stretching your feet, and you're improving your posture with your back straight. And again, hold it for one minute. Then when you come out of it, you inhale, come up, exhale. Now, extend one leg in front of you, take your other foot and put it over. Now we're gonna do spinal twists. Pull the leg in a little bit, twist behind you, and hold. Now, there's different uh, actions, and you're going to hold this for one minute. Again, the details are on one of the earlier videos. I'm not going to go over the little minor details right here. Just this is the this is stretch number three. You're going to stretch and hold. You put your hand behind you. Okay, so it's going to be straight behind you. You're going to keep your spine straight this way. You're going to twist and breathe. Now here you're opening up the back shoulder. 
okay? You're correcting the posture on the lead shoulder. Now, some uh, people are more flexible than me. Being a chiropractor and other things I've done, uh, some of the stretches I used to be able to do when I was just doing martial arts as a kid, I lost because I'm, I'm working like this all day. So I'm at the same risk of, as everybody else because of my profession uh, to help to have to constantly work and restore my body. Hey, life does that to us. Okay, that's what life does. So what happens is, is we twist and we hold and we breathe. And you'll feel loosening up the spine. Then, of course, we do it on the other side. Okay, whatever we do on one side, we do on the other side. We hold each for a minute. Now, here's the gem. Go back and do those stretches again. Yeah, I said six-minute stretch. If you want to pull them each for another minute, it's going to be a 12-minute stretch. I lie. Uh, you, this is optional, but if you really want to get good with this, this is the, the second time you're doing something very phenomenal to your body. First thing is you're stretching the muscles. You will get down further. That's excellent. Okay? Uh, second, you're training your nerves to tell that muscle to contract. By the way, think about this. If I contract the muscle, what's telling it to contract? Your nerves. Okay? Some of it's automatic. You touch a hot stove, you pull away. Okay? Some of it is a conscious action. You actually grab something and pull it back or you walk. That's your nerves telling your muscles to tighten, to contract. That's how all work in the body is done. Well, what happens if there's always a signal going to those muscles to stay tight? You'll be in a chronic state of pain. You with me? So the second time you do this, you hold, you'll stretch the muscles more, but now you're reminding the nerves to let go of that tension in the muscle. There's the gift. That's, you know, it's funny. Some of you have seen my dog in the video. There's a couple of ways to train a dog. Uh, negative reinforcement, they're barking, you yell at them, or positive reinforcement. When they happen to be doing the behavior that you want, you reward them. So a lot of people are amazed that I, I, I leave my dog off a leash in front of a store. He walks in the middle of the street with me, no leash. How, how does he do that? Because when I got that behavior from him, I, I told him he was a good boy. So he knows his picture of himself as a good boy, as a good dog, is to do what I want him to do. So he wasn't punished into it. So uh, he's very trustworthy. Now, if you want to have a trustworthy body that listens to you like a good dog, hold it. The second time you're holding it, you're giving your body positive reinforcement. This is negative reinforcement. You're trying to force it. That's it's not going to help your cause. Okay, so again, now you're going to do the stretches again the second time. Okay? And this one. And this one. If you happen to hold them each for, for a minute the second time, you wind up having a 12-minute stretch. If you only hold it for 20 seconds, eh, it'll be 10, 8 minutes. It doesn't matter. Uh, the important thing is that will get some core muscle groups that will help you uh, lay down a foundation for a more injury-free and more productive day. And like I said, it takes so little time when you get up in the morning. Why not? You could do it at night. Um, if you really want to be brave, do it a couple of times a day. And I also, I like to follow up because that, that didn't really catch the neck. I like to follow up by rolling the neck. And those of you who have had questions about rolling the neck, keep in mind in between each of the vertebrae is a disc. You're realigning the center of the disc, what's called the nucleus propulsus, right where it should be. Now, x-ray is reasonably taken of my neck. It looks like I'm 20 years old. It doesn't degrade the neck in any way. In fact, it allows more um, nutrients to flow into the disc. Okay, more fluids. Okay. Um, if you have any questions, uh, post them to my channel. I don't have time to, to, to send back individual emails. I'm sorry. Uh, pretty busy guy. Um, a lot of the... Um, Topics are covered in, in this little video, are covered in all the other videos, and of course, uh, not just a plug for my book, but there's a lot of information in there. I wrote it so people can have answers, so they can have a, a more, pain -free, more pain free, more productive life. Okay, uh, that's all for today. Thanks for stopping by.